Howdy folks, this video is all about my hot wire cut mini arrow flying wing, 770 millimeter wingspan. It came about because uh, some of my flying buddies uh, thought they'd like to do some streamer combat. So we thought we'd maybe standardize on a, a, a plan form or a electronics package to keep all the planes relatively uh, similar performance. Um, so we started off, we had the first fly off and I used my sip kill wing, one metre wingspan, and my buddy Chris used uh, his tape covered Depron uh, mini arrow. And it turns out that the sip kill wing was blown out of the sky by the mini arrow. So that's the end of the sip kill wing. I decided I've got to make a mini arrow. <clears throat> now we wanted to standardise the electronics package. So we've got a uh, 28, 22, 14, 50 kV Turnergy motor, uh, 1300 milliamp hour battery, uh, 20 to 25 amp ESC, and about a um, seven or eight inch prop. This is a seven by four. Okay, so let's talk about the design considerations of a hot wire cut mini arrow. Number one was that my foam is 30 millimeters thick, so it had to be a little bit thinner than 30 millimeters, so I could make a nice cut. Um, now there are a few different met methods of cutting hot wire, uh, especially with a uh, highly tapered wing. Uh, what you can do is fix one end of the wire, have the template on the other end, and cut around the template uh, pivoting on the fixed wire at the other end. But I thought that would make this uh, outer end of the wing too slim. Um, so I had to come up with two templates, one for the uh, fat part of the wing and one for the outer part of the wing. Now what I wanted to do was make it as similar to the flight test style folded foam board uh, design as possible which meant that the trailing edge had to be uh, about 10 millimeters thick, uh, which is two layers of foam board. Uh, and same at the outer end as well. Okay, so I couldn't just scale down the center template uh, for a smaller outer template. I had to make the trailing edge a bit fatter. So I ended up with a uh, Clark Z 10% airfoil. Uh, and I extended it out at the trailing edge uh, so that I'd leave a, a 10 millimeter trailing edge. Now the problem with cutting a highly tapered wing is that you have to move a lot faster on this end of the cut than you do on this end of the cut. And you can probably see it on here. If you don't get it quite right, you can get big divots and uh, scallops coming out of the leading edge if you finish this end of the cut before this end. So you sort of have to uh, sweep the cut quickly at this part of the cut and then get it roughly parallel as you're going over the leading edge. Um, now, this was the first one I cut, which was pretty rough. The subsequent ones were a little bit better on the leading edge, but still had all these ripples because you're going a lot slower on that end of the cut. Uh, but a fair bit of sanding uh, and it smoothed it out, ni smoothed it out nicely. Uh, now, because most of this bottom edge is flat, uh, I just I didn't cut the bottom edge. I left that flat and just sanded the leading edge shape, uh, which worked out okay. Now we'll take a closer look. Uh, I needed it to be tough and as crash proof as possible. Um, so we have coreplast wing ends. Um, we have a cloth tape along the leading edge. Metal Gear Micro servos, which are a little bit heavier but uh, a lot tougher than the Plastic Gear 9 grams. I have a foam nose cone, 3 mil coreplast uh, battery cover rather than a pod. The original flight test design has that area 
all cut out which seriously weakens it I think especially if it's a little bit heavier like this one so I've done a little bit differently um, I've just recessed the battery into a little hole about half the depth of the battery and I've hot glued in a, an ID card um, and a little bit of a retaining strap there the receiver and ESC are just uh, double sided tape on top there and the core plastic just has some velcro which folds over and um, secures there like that and gives a nice uh, airfoil, airfoil shape really as you'll see in the Maiden video um, the first Maiden went a bit rough uh, and I cracked the wing through this area here that's sort of a, a weak area um, so to reinforce it I've put some 3mm by 0.5mm carbon fibre strips in front and behind the servo and on the underneath as well and that's made that area a lot stiffer the motor mount is a uh, aluminium L shaped bracket just uh, double sided tape onto a, an ID, ID card that's hot glued onto the wing the Elevons are 6mm Depron just covered with black tape I'll do a detailed blog post uh, about all the specs and uh, templates and things like that so um, I'll include those uh, in a link in the notes when I get around to doing it.